Hi everyone, I'm Andrew with Run Sign Up, and this is the Run Sign Up Race Registration Checklist, where I'm gonna help you make sure that your race registration is set up correctly and that you're getting the most out of Run Sign Up. So you should watch this video if you're done setting up your race and you're just looking for a check, or if you're still going through the setup process and you just want some guidance. If you have not gone through all of the steps of the Race Wizard, then you should check out our playlist on the Race Wizard first. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description below. Also, if you click up here, there's links hiding inside that little button. So watch that playlist first, get your race set up through the wizard, and then come back here and go through this. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the major aspects of setting up your race on Run Sign Up. And at the end of each video, there's gonna be choices on the screen, kind of like this. These aren't clickable, but later they will be. You'll just click on whichever video is applied to your race, and eventually we'll all make it to the end of this thing, and you don't have to see me anymore. I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing. If you're gonna miss me, take a screenshot, you know, something to remember me by. Now, if at any point during this walkthrough, you need to stop and come back to it later, make sure you copy the URL of the video that you're on. That way you don't have to keep clicking through the entire path again just to get where you left off. Oh, and I should mention, YouTube has a little gear on the video. So if you wanna speed up or slow down these tutorials, feel free to. Okay, so the first couple questions in this checklist have to do with events in your race. To make sure we're using the same terminology here in Run Sign Up, a race is made up of an event or events. So your race is the entire occasion, whether you have one day with one event, one day with a bunch of different events, or a bunch of different events spread across a bunch of different days, your race is the entire collection of events. And events are specific elements that make up your race. For instance, this Scott Coffee run here, this is a race. And this race is made up of four different events. The AK, the one mile, the virtual AK, and the virtual one mile. Now, if your race is actually a ride or a swim or a tournament or a training program or a bake-off or I'm making this list too long, if it's anything other than a race, you can go to your race dashboard, open up race, race website, and then miscellaneous settings, and you can enter in custom wording for race. So if we save this as ride, then the term race becomes ride. For the walkthrough though, we're gonna stick with race just so everyone's on the same page. Now also under that race tab, you can go to the race wizard, click on over to the your page step, and here you have fields for custom event text, both singular and plural. So if you don't wanna use the term events and you wanna use something like waves or days or challenges, then you can set whatever terms you'd like to use here, and that will replace the word event on your race pages. Again though, for this tutorial, we're gonna stick with race and event. Now there are some event setups that I wanna make sure that everybody avoids. I'm gonna go through them now, and if they match your race, don't worry, because we're gonna talk about how to fix them. Number one, do not create duplicate events. In other words, don't create multiple events if the event is the same course and the same time. For instance, if you've created an early registration pricing 5K and also a normal registration pricing 5K, those are duplicate events, you don't need to do that. If you have a 5K without a shirt and a 5K with a shirt, Again, those are duplicate events. You don't need to do that. Now, waves are fine. So if you have a 7 a.m. 5K, 7.35K, 8 a.m. 5K, 8.35K, those aren't duplicate events because they're not taking place at the same time on the same course. If you're looking at your race right now and you're seeing that you have a duplicate event, then wait until the end of this video because we're gonna talk about some other things first. But at the end of the video, you'll click, I need to fix my setup. The second thing to know is do not create an event for volunteers. If you go to race and then race wizard and then scroll down to look at the events you have there, if any of these events are for collecting volunteers, that's not recommended on the race dashboard. We actually have a section for volunteers and it's much better suited for collecting volunteer information, communicating with your volunteers, setting up task coordinators. So if you're looking at your events and you see that you have a volunteer event set up, then again, keep watching this video because we have one more thing to talk about. But at the end of this video, you'll click on the link that says, I need to fix my setup. Number three is do not create one event for two or more events. This one's just easier to show you. So if you have an event block here and the event name is 5K and Fun Run or Half Marathon, 10K and 5K, you don't wanna do that. Each event should be created separately and you should never have this. You should never have more than one event listed as the name of a single event. If you're looking at your events right now and you're seeing that you have one event created that houses two or more events, then you can just click on the link that's showing up right now that says, I need to fix my setup. And if you don't need to fix your setup, then you can just continue on with the race checklist. 